shit, got all types of the motor geikies. Looks like some big motor geiky crew. Man, I remember when I used to have fun, just ride around fucking, uh, riding motorcycles and eating food and stuff. Not doing all kinds of horrible work that you hate. Rebuilding houses and shit that you don't even know how to do. Oh, oh, oh. Guess that's quartz, I don't fucking know. Maybe it's lithium ion. Floor situation, right? I get a vinyl sliding tool yesterday and I pull off this section of vinyl, and this section of vinyl, and this section of vinyl so that I can, uh, if I don't pull it off, I just lift them up, right? So I can see right in here where I need to see. And it's like cement board, it's like it's got a metal lip tacked along the whole thing that the bottom vinyl clips to because you know each piece of vinyl, or each is two sections, double sections, each double section clips into a lip on the next double if you know how vinyl works so anyway i didn't but now i do but yeah so this is where the ants are at the ants just come right up the wall and go right in the how you doing so that's where i had the ant capade so uh had it all off and i decided it's much too much for me to uh fuck with because you know more than about a two foot section you want to lift the house up and the most you really want to mess with is a four and even then you want to go underneath and tie all the joists together with a couple of two by tens just so that nothing you don't get any movement when you pull off this this uh this uh rim joist and uh and it doesn't have a it doesn't have a sill board so a sill board is the one that would sit on top of the foundation or in this or the crawl space foundation in this in this case the uh whatever this shit is so uh but we don't have a sill board as far as i can tell uh and uh just the rim joist but i would like i said i wasn't comfortable cutting that because I'm not getting into the house <laughs> and securing some shit and I might have been able to do it from the top but I'm not sure the vinyl will go back on because it's so brittle and me just messing with it was starting to fuck it up so and I ain't trying to put all new vinyl in the house so we're taking it slow and little by little and what I've gone with is I'm just digging out more you know we were pretty cleaned up but I've just now I'm just digging out you know this was the the remnants that were stuck up under the wall base so I'm pulling all that done so I'll be able to slip my slip for all the way against the rim joist there and as you can I've already showed y'all I dug out all the bad spots but I realized this piece of board that was right there was still super spongy wet and I've had the fan on it for days so it's down in there and we're gonna salvage that piece I got as straight as a cut I could with the uh, with eyeballing it with the sawzall I'll measure out a piece to budge in there but not until that cement board dries out a little bit. So I'll go ahead and pry off the rest of the subfloor. Not sure what the situation with this is. I'm assuming it's joining uh, two separate rim joists. So I gotta kinda leave that there, I guess, but I'm hoping it's gonna be able to get the subfloor out from underneath it. You see all these, uh, I don't know what I'm filming, sorry. You see all these, uh, come on, Sony, why would you even wanna? See, I gotta get all that, I gotta get all that out from off the top of the joist and underneath the wall base. So that's what I've been doing, getting all those. Okay, finish off that, go ahead and clean it up. Then draw my chalk line, come back here to four feet, go ahead and cut out this section. And uh, then I'll go get my insulation, put the fans on, go get my insulation, and then uh, hopefully lay my insulation down and pop the fucking floor back on. Yeah, pretty much a combination of the saw blade uh, or the uh, rather the sawzall, little uh, 14 in one or 5 in one tool, whatever you got there, and uh, a forester bit at the end of a drill uh, seems to clear out all those little cavities between the uh, base of the wall and underneath the floor joist because uh, you know it's pretty much it's soft particle board so it disintegrates pretty easily as you can see by the remnants of the crumbs that I haven't picked up yet and uh, but this doesn't eat into good wood near as easily as it does. Uh, old particle board, so especially the particle board that's been wet. So, all right, pro tip. Pro tip.
for any screws. I'm just thinking since I got such a shitty, shitty blade and it's just having a hard time. So maybe I'll just go ahead and go buy a fucking El Diablo. Okay, back from the Home Depot. And I got the uh, El Diablo Demo Demon Ultimate Framing and Demolition. So hopefully it'll cut through some freaking metal too. I don't know. We're going to see. And, uh, and I just got a plywood blade. And if this doesn't do it, I don't know what I'm going to do. sitting right there that I pulled out. I had to clean up all the nails and the rest of the particle board. You know, sweep it up, vacuum it up, get it all ready to go. much but uh oh my goodness going to get some dinner right now i just left y'all off the other camera man i have been working on that floor all day off and on and it is insane how much work it is to demo something even if you're just actually fucking not even trying to take care it's a lot of work but when you're actually trying to take care and not totally demo everything even more work I don't know what you could hear in there a while ago on account of the uh, fan and the TV and all that jazz. So, uh, going to get some dinner, taking a break, so I can jump back to it here in a sec and uh, ensure that I get it buttoned up tonight because I don't want to have the floor open any longer. And I got to get that, I got to get it buttoned up anyway because we're having a potential rainstorm in the morning, so I want to get the house sealed up because, uh, yeah, I still got that outside wall exposed right now with that rim joist piece missing. Okay. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me today here on Mutt and Chop channel, and, uh, you know, join me next time where I probably don't do a damn thing and break some stuff and screw some stuff, other stuff, and hurt my stuff and stuff and stuff. Bye stuff. Well, next scene stuff.